Hey everyone, welcome to Creating with Cassie. I'm so excited for you to join me today because we get to do another ornament from Me Time Delivered's Collectible Christmas subscription program this year, which is Sing Noel, which we're making a beautiful tree skirt and matching ornaments. I'm so excited to do this tutorial with you today. We're doing Silver Bells, which is one of those classic songs, and I cannot wait to make this bell with you. It's sweet, it's simple, it's fast, and it'll be so much fun. Let's get stitching. All right, let's see what's in here. Always amazing things we know. Okay, so first things first, our instructions. Look at those bells. Okay, I love that we're doing the song Silver Bells and that we have some gorgeous bells to put on our beautiful wedges as well as make this beautiful ornament. And that's what this video is today. We're going to make this ornament together. This is the card that comes with it and this has all the information about the things required to make the cute bells and our instructions. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. Oh, okay, the first thing I see is a little silver bell in there. And it sounds like it's going to work and lots of fun things. Looks like we have some silver embroidery leather and some felt and all sorts of good things. So, okay, we're going to open this up and see what we have in here. I'm going to pull everything out except for the wedge because I'm going to do that at a later time. And I'm going to pull out my instructions. And let's see, I need to get to the special project. And it looks like the little bell is going to be part of that. We know we're going to need the little rope and the wood bead because we do that with all of them. We're going to need the fluff. So this actually expands. It looks like a teeny little thin thing, but once you open it, this expands and it gets really poofy. So that's what we're going to need for our stuffing for our bell. All right, so we need antique white felt, and that's going to be in this package. Let's get in here. All right, so two, let's see, one piece of a big piece of white felt. Okay, I'm going to take all these little pieces of silver. One big piece of felt, and it looks like two smaller three by four and a half pieces. So that'll be that one. And then we need some pistachio felt, and it is a four by four piece, so it's going to be this one. And then we need our twine wood bead, the fiber fill, which is this stuff, and the jingle bell. I'm going to get that jingle bell out of here. Oh, let's see if it works. I bet it does. Cute! <laughs> so fun. The rest of this stuff is needed for the wedge. So we're gonna put that in here and save it for when the wedge gets made. Because right now we're working on making our cute little fluffy bell. All right, that's all the good stuff. Okay, so the only thing that we need to prep since the felt comes pre-cut is our beautiful string and we know that we need 12 inches of it. And so we're just going to measure that out Give it a quick little clip and save the rest for another time when we can make this bell. I feel like I'm going to be making it a ton and then we can just set that aside until we're ready for it. Okay, so I've already hooped my light mesh cutaway stabilizer and loaded my embroidery file from my computer, which I get from metimedelivered.com from my library and add it into my machine. Once everything is all set to go, I have some white thread. We can do machine step one, which is stitching the bell shape directly onto the stabilizer. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Now that we have that bell shape stitched onto our stabilizer, we're gonna take our white antique felt, slide it onto our project, making sure that we're completely covering the area that's stitched on our stabilizer. And then we'll take our paper tape and we'll just put a little bit here and smooth it up and put it here on the top. That way it doesn't move. And we're going to go ahead and leave our white thread in here and stitch the bell tack down line. We're 
we're going to grab our light green color from our Sing Noel thread kit. In this case, it's the color Willow. If you're using your own thread at home, it will just be your lighter green color out of the three. So we're gonna go ahead and put that into our machine right now, and then we can go ahead and move to the machine step three. So machine step three is stitching the accent placement lines. And this is going to be the little green felt part of our bell. Or if you use different colored belts, you can make a bunch of different bells with tons of different colors. The bell would be so cute. But in this case, it's green. So we're gonna use the thread that matches. We're going to do one on the top and on the bottom of the bell. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our green pistachio green colored felt slide it under our foot double check that we're going to cover both areas that we have stitched with that placement line and then we can go ahead and add our paper tape smooth your felt down add the paper tape and then we can go ahead and stitch the accent felt tack down lines Time to trim. So we're gonna come in here and remove that paper tape that we don't need. And you actually can take it off both layers, the pistachio green and that antique white. You can leave it too, either is fine, but I'm just gonna remove it and get it out of my way. And then we're going to trim. Remember that when we are trimming this, it is going to be raw edge applique. And so you're going to wanna make sure you trim it really nicely. I'm just going to rough cut that bit just a little bit so I can get the bulk of this out of the way and then I'm going to trim in the nice thing is if you kind of rough cut it you can go back and do a nice detail cut so I kind of just rough that out but now I can come in with the tip of my scissors and cut out the cute little detail there and right here so I get the look that I want with my bell then I'm gonna come and do the rounded top. And I do hold the felt to add a little tension. I get a better cut that way. And I make sure not to fully close my scissors while I'm cutting. I'm gonna do the same thing down here, adding tension with my felt when I hold it, and then making sure that I don't fully close my scissors. Now I am going to fully close them when I come and do these points. And I'm going to do that because I want to have a crisp point in my bell shape so I can get that really cute scallop look. I'm going to come around and trim each of these out until I'm satisfied. And when you like what you see, then you can call it there. And if you look at it later and think, oh, I wish I had trimmed that, the nice thing is you actually can go back and retrim anything if you feel like you need to. Felt is pretty forgiving that way. All right, when you like what you see, you can return your hoop to the machine. Before we do the next stitching step, we're going to put our cardinal color into our machine. This is our brighter red color from the Sing Noel thread kit, or you can use your brighter red color from your own kit that you made at home. Okay, once you have your red thread in there, you can go ahead and stitch machine step five, which is going to be stitching the beautiful leafy detail. And I don't know about you, but this bell seems pretty simple, kind of straightforward with some really pretty simple details. This might be the sort of thing you could work up a bunch for plates of cookies or gifts to teachers or gifts to neighbors or anything that you need super quick and fast. It's just going to be one of those things that you can make and enjoy. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this stitch.
Okay, I'm going to take my beautiful cardinal color out and I'm going to put my super white in. And I'm using super white for the accent dots for Machine Step 6 because I've been using super white this whole time as my accent or if they're doing any fun details in super white. If you have regular white, that's perfectly fine. I'm just using super white to keep it consistent for my projects. All right, so machine step six is stitching the detailed dots on our cute little part of our bell, the green part. And they're just gonna be adorable little dots. I'm excited that we have this extra detail that just gives this a little more oomph. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it stitch those. All right, we've gotten to the point where we need to use our string. So what we're going to do is even up these ends, making sure the two cut ends are the same and the rest of it is forming a little loop. And then we're going to take this and tie a knot near the end of the cut ends. So I'm just going to pull this in and pull the thread, make sure that knot is coming nice and close to the end of those little tails. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna grab my hoop, put it right here. And what we're going to do is put this on the top of our bell and we're going to place that knot outside of the trimming line. So we're going to be putting the thread here in the middle of our bell. And we're just going to put this just outside of the trimming line. And I'm going to take some tape and tape that in place. I'm gonna put it over the string here in the middle as well as out here on the knot. So that way it is very visible where all of this is located. Then what we're going to do is take our other two pieces of felt that we had sitting aside. We're gonna start with the one that covers the top and we're going to line it up with the back of our bell that we already have put here. So the back felt and this one, I guess this is the front felt. So the felt here that we have on the uh, hoop already and this one and line it up and just smooth it in place. It will stick because it's felt. Now we wanna make sure that this one overlaps by at least half an inch. It's okay if it does a little bit more, but we want at least half an inch. And so then we're going to make sure that that is tucked inside there and smooth that in place. And then we need some tape. We definitely need tape so that this doesn't move or go anywhere. And we're going to tape over that fold because the last thing we want is our presser foot to catch any part of that fold and pull our project at the last moment here. So we're just going to tape that down really well, then place a piece of tape here and another one up here at the top so that everything is nice and secure and ready to go. And then we can return this to the hoop so that we can stitch the final outline stitch. So lucky for us, we already have our white thread in our machine and that's what we need to stitch the final outline stitch. So we can go ahead and get stitching. And this is going to stitch all around the shape of our bell, creating a back and a front. All right, at this point, we're going to remove our project from the hoop. So we are done with all the stitching part. Okay, so when we're going to trim, we need to trim this from the back. This is the finish line, so we don't want to cut this line. So we're going to trim over here. If we turn this over, let's see if I can get it so you can see it. This is the final trimming line, but just out here is that first line that we stitched at the very beginning. So don't trim the one that looks nice and thick and dark. We're going to trim this light one. So we're going to go ahead and take our scissors and cut in. And we're going to trim around the shape of our bell. And this will get everything looking so cute. And the nice thing is we can trim everything all at once. I'm not going to trim the twine. I'm not going to trim the top twine at the top. So I'm cutting way up here and I'm avoiding that section as usual. And then we're going to trim along this side of the bell. And this is giving us our shape, so make sure that you are spending a little bit of time on your cut. There we go. Look at that. We got a bell. So fun. Okay, now we're going to do this section by section like usual when we do the top here. 
So I'm going to hold everything back except for this one section and we're just going to trim around. Good. And then I have another section here of felt. Looks like there's our twine. So we're going to take this, hold that section back, trim around. Very good. Okay, then we're going to take our twine that is currently attached to the tape. I'm going to take that tape and just fold it down because then it's stuck right there where I want it. And we're going to trim that back piece. And then I can take this tape off and we're going to leave that just inside our bell. And what we'll do is we'll kind of remove the tape out of the stitches here so that we can open up our bell. So it comes off really easy. Thank goodness the paper tape is nice like that. And just pull it out of the stitches. And there we go. Okay, so since a bell is a rounded object, we're gonna clip some notches in here. So we're just gonna take our scissors, and you know, actually I'm gonna do it with my littler scissors. I often do it with my big scissors, but I'm gonna do little ones here. And we're gonna come in and clip some notches and remove fabric so that when we turn this, it will be a much better bell shape. So we're gonna go around and just clip a bunch of notches and then we're gonna have a much better looking bell. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick and pull them all out. All right, after you have all your cute little notches clipped, we're going to put our fingers in our bell and we're going to turn it inside out. And I have my little point turner. We're just going to tuck those corners out. And then I'm gonna turn the other half. Here we go. Guys, this is looking so cute. Okay, and we'll just straighten out the edge there. And look at our little jingle bell. I'm gonna remove the tape with our string. And you can spend more time poking the corners and ironing it all nice and flat, but it really turned out really great, actually. So then we are going to, then we have a list of a few things we need to do. We need to put our fiber fill in here, then we can sew the back closed, and then we can sew the little jingle bell. And after that, it says to do the knot, but I'm going to do that first, just because I want that done before I spend the time hand sewing. But this, so this is really step 22, but I'm gonna do it right now. So I'm gonna pull my knot nice and close to that. And I'm going to get my threader and put it through the wooden bead. Grab my string, pull it in and pull it through. Pull that down to the bead and then I'm going to tie the knot. All right, and then we're going to just slide that down close to the bead. So fun, and that can hang out there. All right, and then I'm going to open the fiber fill. Okay, as I told you, it looks really thin and flat, but the moment you open this, it starts expanding, and all of a sudden you have way more than you bargained for. Look at that, tons and tons of fiber fill. It becomes a big fluffy poof ball. <laughs> so we're gonna take a hunk off of that. And I'm going to actually lift the top up and stick it down here in the bottom first. That way it doesn't get forgotten down here in the bottom half of our bell. So we're going to go ahead and stuff the fiber fill in. Now you could keep this flat if you wanted to, to give as a, as a gift or something like that, but the fiber fill makes it a really cute ornament. And depending on how much you put on here will depend on how poofy it is. I kind of like that amount. So I'm gonna keep that amount on the bottom and there's more, more fiber fill than you'll need to do one bell. So you'll have plenty to do it. And once you have everything stuffed in there, we're going to take a regular needle and thread just like this. And we're gonna sew this back closed and then we're going to sew the little silver jingly bell right here on the bottom. So you need your needle and thread and have that sewn. So I'm gonna go ahead and do mine really quick. Just need to get a knot in the bottom. 
I don't know if I've shown you this trick. I struggled getting knots in the end of my needle for a really long time. So what I like to do is put both ends on my finger like that. Then I come and put my needle across my thread, making an X. Take my thread, wrap it around, grab that, and pull it down, and I have a gorgeous knot. So nice and simple. All right, so then I can go ahead and hand sew this. So I'm gonna get in here and get that sewn. All right, and with your jingle bell sewn and the back sewn closed, you are done. You guys, look what we've made. Isn't it amazing? I absolutely love this. I love that it jingles and it has that little silver bell on the bottom to go with our decorative bell. You guys, this was so fast. It was so easy. It's one of those things where I'm like, well, let's just make a whole tree full of bells, you know? Super cute, and I loved it. If you have not checked out Me Time Delivered yet, they sponsored this video because these amazing projects are perfect for everyone who is just starting out or who has been stitching for a long time. I have a link below if you haven't checked them out yet. This is the beautiful bell for the September ornament for the Signoel tree skirt and ornaments project and it is so so fun and so cute and I hope that you give it a try from everyone from me time delivered and creating with Cassie we hope that you go and enjoy some well-deserved me time and make something beautiful